Hey folks, Larry Wingett here. I'm sitting here on my patio with my computer in my lap looking through some of the things that folks post. And I gotta tell you, I just read some stuff that somehow hit me wrong today, fired me up, and I'm gonna shoot off a little rant to you folks. Uh, it was from several motivational idiots who were out there sharing a post uh, from a supposed thought leader. By the way, before you call yourself a thought leader, try having an original thought. We need more good thought followers instead of thought leaders. I've never claimed to be a thought leader. The whole term bugs the hell out of me. I'm a thought follower. That's why I've read so many books. I love to follow the thoughts of other people who are smarter than I am. And then I take in information and I weigh it and I see what works and move on. But anyway... I digress. This thought leader said if there's one thing in the world that infuriates him, it's hearing someone say, I can't. Really, that infuriates you? Let me tell you what infuriates me. It's some motivational bozo out there telling people they can when maybe they really can't. Really. There are some things you can't do. Listen, I can't run a four-minute mile. I can't. Don't tell me if I you know, had enough training, even at my age, I could. No, I can't. I'm too damn old to do that at this point. I probably couldn't have done it 40 years ago. I will tell you this, I don't like to run. If you ever get word that Larry wouldn't get his dead, let me make you this promise. They will not have found me laying on the side of the road with a pair of running shoes on, I'll guarantee you. But even setting that aside, I can't do that. You know another thing, I can't jump and grab the rim of a basketball goal. I can't do it. You know, it's insulting to tell someone they can when they really can't. When the laws of physics, the laws of gravity, in my case, maybe the law of aging, and the laws of common sense back up the fact they really can't do it. And it's also disheartening and discouraging to people who believe some of you motivational idiots out there that they should keep trying and keep going when honestly they're doing their damnedest. They're doing their best every single day. It's discouraging to keep telling them that they can achieve places they really can't achieve. I'm not gonna be one of those guys who blow smoke up your skirt and tells you you can when maybe if you're doing your very best you have achieved your highest level. Really, if you're doing your very best, stop and celebrate. Keep going, keep working harder, keep trying harder, keep doing more every single day. But if you really have given it your very best, be proud of yourself. That's why I say it's so insulting for the motivational bozos to keep telling you that you can do whatever you want to do. No, maybe you really can't. Keep telling you that you, if you believe it, you can achieve it. I don't care how much you believe something, some things cannot be achieved based on your circumstances, based on who you are, based on your situation. It's dumb to tell people that, and some people get discouraged because they think they're not good enough when they really have done their very best. So if you are doing your very best, I'm going to stop and applaud you. I'm not going to be one of those motivational idiots that tells you you can do more. Maybe you really can't do more. Maybe you're doing your very best by your kids and by your family and, and doing the best with your money. And when you go to work every single day, you do give it all there is and then some. Maybe that's who you are. And in that case, be proud of yourself and don't let the motivational idiots insult you and discourage you, and discourage you by saying you can do more if you believe you can do more. You can do what you can do. You can push yourself. And maybe you're doing all you really can. Now, I will say that some people still use I can't as an excuse. And very few people really give it their very best. And for most people, when they say, I can't, what they really mean and should be saying is, I won't. Don't be that person. Don't be a person who says, I can't, when what you really mean is, I won't. However, on the upside, if you will, and you're doing your very best, I applaud you. Hey, y'all have a good day. Thank you so much for listening to this little rant.